Shoot, what do I do? What do I do? Um, gotta think of something, something that I could do to get him out of there. This has Michael would put it. You need to plan things out, or you just go ahead and do it. Hmm. What if... What if I, uh, went to the strawberry thing and robbed, uh, or not robbed, but took him out of the jail when the guards weren't looking and we, well, I take him back to a temporary location. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I mean, he's... Yeah, he may be going... He may be thinking that he's going crazy. I mean, he kind of is, but... I don't want to say that he's like a crazy psychopath. But he has... Showed me kind of some things about the alcohol life that I never thought I could be doing like um when we robbed that bank I never thought that I would actually be uh robbing a bank and all that stuff but it happened and well I think it's Time that like I showed Michael, yeah, like hey, uh, other than the yeah, alert and stuff, but not it's not about learning stuff. It's just I'm gonna go down because I, I mean we've been together for quite a bit, and I think that well. I mean, I don't know, so, something about him that I really, uh, I guess you could say admire, and also some, it's like, I just really, I don't know, like, there's like some kind of thing going on between us, but if I'm going to do this, I need to plan it out, so... You know what? Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Just gotta not really say it out loud. Uh, how convenient. I also did it in Michael's room. Or had that little talk with myself. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Gotta get Michael out. Um, hey, um, cards. Hey, how you doing? Um, uh, doing good. Quiet for now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go take like a little daytime ride. You guys don't mind. Alright. Nope. Alright. Oh. Michael. I know you said if I would save you, it would probably be suicide, but. I'll do anything for you. So. Here I come, Michael. Uh, well, uh, here we are, back once again. All right, well, 
if I'm gonna do this, then you do it the correct way. And the Y, okay. So there's a guy over there. Let's see. Don't want to make too much noise. about the door right now. Let me see what's up here, actually. Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, what's this? Huh. Wait, what? I should focus on getting Michael out. Okay. Jesse. Oh, what are you doing here? Getting, trying to get you out of here. I told you I'm not safe to be around me. Why would you come save me? Try to kill you. Yeah, I remember. And remember all that. I kind of put it by the wayside. You're just saving, but what's the point? Because I. Yeah, you've done all this stuff to me, but. I'm. I've moved on from that stuff, and I need to see you in jail. And, like, heck. The food they give you here probably isn't even that good, is it? Besides, I, 
Man, there's no more to rob. I don't know what to do, even if I got out of here. Oh. I mean, actually, I have a plan because I was thinking, I was um, planning this whole stuff out about where we could rob. Set up. Um, well, it's, uh, it's, um, this, like, mansion. My, you're implying in my dad's mansion? No, not that mansion. <sighs> okay, what mansion? Uh, it's. It's in, uh, St. Denise. I'm not surprised it's there. Okay, well... Well, the mansion is, because if it's just a random person, you can leave me out of it. Uh, well... Uh, it's the... Well, think here's the thing, it's, uh... Mayor's Mansion. The Mayor's? Yeah. <sighs> okay, you're intriguing me a little bit. But... Did you look at the place before you came? Or did you check it out at least? Because you haven't seen me for about a week. Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, there was. Well, I heard around St. Denise when I was just looking at the place that apparently he took like some sort of vacation. And like there's no one there. I went there myself and checked, and there was nobody there. It took like a little holiday or some kind of vacation. So, I guess I'll tag along. But, are you really sure you want to get me out of here? Because I don't know if there's any wall upstairs and you just somehow got past them. Because I don't I haven't really seen much of anything for the past week. Other than solid wall and cell walls. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'll we'll make sure that you make it out of here. Um, all right then, I'll lead the way. Uh, well, um, yep, they let me keep my guns, but the ammo they took. Huh. <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I also took my horse, so... Oh. I got that under control. I'm not too good, but they made it run away. <laughs> Ow. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine, just... Where's your horse? Uh, I got it. Okay. Where well, is... so you could have just came in normal clothes instead of wearing that, because then they're gonna definitely know someone just got their old gay member back. Or they broke him out of jail. Alright, you know what? Let's come on, hurry up. <sighs> okay. Alright, time to go. <sighs> if we're going to Santa Anita, this is going to be a long ride, but unless you plan on taking me somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I got a little temporary house that I found along the way coming here that we could just stay at for a little. What do you mean? You left the manor? No, not the manor. That's the where we're going. I'm talking about just 
little resting spot so that way we, we are ready. Oh. <sighs> but still, you let the right away in manner. Uh, no, it's just, it's somewhere else. It's like, it's not like as big as that. It's like a small, like, kind of like cabin. Now you can take your bandana off now since no one's around. Except for really being you. Yeah, that guy. But he tried in his way. Yeah. Did you hear where the mayor's gonna be going for his vacation, or you just heard that he's going somewhere? Oh, um, well, I, uh, I did hear where he's going. He said, well, he didn't say it specifically to me, but I, oh, yeah, uh, he doesn't know you. I know that. I'm just saying. I just, I heard him talk about, um, that he was probably going to, well not probably, but is going to, uh, like, well, is it, it's like a little, tiny little thing he went to, because he always liked to go to this, um, uh, little town, it's kind of where I, where we were at before, remember Armadillo? Went that there? Yeah. As long as I like that place, that place, well, that's what changed me. And I kind of want to forget about all that stuff. Yeah. What the? What? Oh. Well, you, well, you almost got attacked by a bear. Oh, that's great. Uh, we're fine. Hey man, started away just in time. I didn't even hear or see. I thought I heard growl or something. How was that wrong? Oh. The good thing is that we didn't get attacked. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to see. You're in all this fog. Yeah. Over there. Hmm. Well, maybe that's something we can do. Alright, well. There we are. Well, this is lovely. Is it really? Creepy at all to me. This makes just this place just speaks up spooky. Oh, since why are you a writer? Oh, that was uh, there when I was searching the place. Hyperion Typewriter Company, New York, USA. That's a long way from here. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, so, is there anything else you heard other than all the mayor stuff and all that? Uh. Oh. Yeah, just that, and he's gonna be gone for a little while. Like I, I think he said, no, oh, not he, but you know what I mean. But I, he uh, said, if I remember, for at least like a good few months.
wasn't really going to think about this, but I was just thinking about maybe getting out of the outlaw life. Unless there's not much of things left. As in robbing and killing people that I need to kill. But the more I realized it when I was alone, it sort of changed a little bit in my mind. Hmm. All the things I've seen and all the things I've done. Uh, I guess including you a little bit too. <sighs> I don't really know where I'm going to go from here after this. I guess we go to the mirrors, I guess. But after that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Got anything in mind? Mm hmm. Well. We could, um, and we could just go to the Mary's house just for like a little bit, and then we could, like, once we get there, we can, like, figure out what we're gonna do, because once we get there, I think then we might have a better idea, because there, he won't be home, and we might have, like, a better chance of, like, I don't know, finding something, like, really interesting, or something really, like, that... Like, heck, we might even find money, I don't know. Uh, this ranch is looking kind of nice to stay. Though I'm not really much of a rancher, never was. Yeah, you don't need to look, I already looked. I uh -huh. can't really see with the rain. But it looks like there could be a lot of people there, I don't know. Just based on the amount of lights that are there. Uh, if you want to become a rancher, then I guess I'll stop my outlaw life and become a rancher. Unless you want to keep living the outlaw life, even though... I you know all this was the proof that you were an outlaw, but... I think I really pretty much find that pretty much dead. Or at least not what I really want to be anymore. That makes any sense. Ah, uh, I get what you're saying. <sighs> so what are you gonna do? Being that low? Well, you going back to the way you were before? Well... If I had to say, probably... Well, I, yeah, I'd say I'd probably just go back to the way I was before. Yeah, I think that for the best. I guess for the both of us, even I never really lived a normal life. I've only been in... Well, I already know. Yeah. Well, if we're going to the mayor's house, we're out of leave now. So All right. I'm uh, not really waiting for, I don't know how long just to get there. Uh, so we're going to have to roll with your horse for now, my horse is, I don't really know where it's at, it is, hopefully it finds me, sometimes soon. Uh, I think they'll, they'll find you. Oh shoot. There are a chance you can shoot those guys. Your horse is gonna get scared. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna be riding for quite a long time, so. I normally let people sleep, but I'm the one riding, but if you somehow manage to fall asleep, I guess you can get some sleep. That's if you're tired. Mm, well, 
Uh, not exactly turned yet, but... Well, once I turns, I'm tired and then ride, because I'm not riding all the way there. Alright. We're finally here. Yeah, after I don't know how long. <sighs> Ew. Never really been to the mayor's mansion, but at least you know where it's at. Jesus. Oh. Okay then. But yeah. in front of it, so. Ah. Uh, yeah. I never knew about this place when I first came here to rob Santini the first time. Hmm. I think maybe you should change clothes. Yeah. You know. You uh, kind of look a little bit. Outlaw looking. I mean. I guess I look normal, even though I smell, but it's fine. Uh, uh, oh, you know, never mind, I'm just gonna go change clothes. If you're coming along, then hurry up and go do that, then we'll come back. Yeah, I'll just come with you. I don't know what they're doing there. Yeah. Alright, well. If one of us are done first, I guess we'll meet at, well, where the statue's at. Alright. Dress rooms need changed. Alright. Uh, well, it sure is something. We ask. I have a feeling you'll be back. Um, yeah. Alright, well. Let's see. Uncle said he should be at the statue, so I'm right. Yeah. Should be around here somewhere. Should know this by now. How are you today? Alright, well. There was somewhere I was gonna go, but I guess if you want, tag along. Uh, well. Yeah, I'll um, go with you, Michael. you're familiar with. Alright. Oh, I know, I'm just picking up the pistol a little bit. 
said you can come but a chance you could be here so uh yeah thanks jesse yep don't cause trouble while i'm gone no i won't i'm gonna sit over here Um, hi, lady. <laughs> okay. Dang. I don't know if that's like some. I don't know what that is, but it's, there's like a lot of wolves. Hello. Um, hi. <laughs> Uh, quiet. Well, I shouldn't say quiet, but it's a typical night in St. Denise. It's almost a full moon. Almost actually half, but whatever. But, uh, Oh, there he is. Oh. There we are. Yeah, I didn't go too far. Alright, well, I already said, I said, um, let's go. Alright. Oh, I thought I heard you talking about something when I came out. What are we talking about? Uh, just... Saying how it's like a typical St. Denis day and this uh almost a full moon that and all that. You? The oh, the whole thing I was talking about? Yeah, you make it sound like St. Denis is a depressing place. No, I'm not I I don't mean it like that. I was just saying it's busy. So I meant I mean, it's not as busy now as what it was a little bit ago. Yeah, yeah I suppose. Find me. Uh, oh, I guess I got your bed, but uh, I guess I'll read you back to the mansion. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm oh. coming. Yeah, my horse I is coming. I thought you left your horse back at the. I thought you left your horse back at the mansion. Yeah, I did, but. Somehow you must have just got free or something, I don't know. Uh, I 
I'm gonna, gonna didn't leave any of security behind. Um, Jess, I thought you said this place was empty. Well, when I was, when I was looking, it was. Someone decided to stay. Quiet. Burst over here. and put him somewhere that could give him a chance of somehow trying to escape but I don't at the same time I don't want to kill him but we gotta do something can't just now bud it's fine see I think I'm just gonna go in there and deal with it I don't need to watch Sir? <sighs> Alright, come on. I take care of him. Alright. Uh. I gotta come to this pal. Guessing it's all of that. <sighs> yeah, I saw every. I saw that. All of it. <sighs> here, look around. Make sure no one else is here. All right. I'll deal with him. To the kitchen. What are you in here? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. What is this? I'm gonna tell Michael about this. 
Ah, uh, okay. So far, not seen actually anyone else. Okay, can you get through there? All right. Okay, so that part of the mansion is cleared. About over here. That's good. Uh, what about in here? Oh, that just leads to the other side. Scared me, Jess. I thought you were someone else. No, no, I'm not. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. So, is anyone else here? No. When I, well, I was checking and I didn't see anyone. Alright. But I did find this. Uh, now this looked like where the mirror works. Someone named Leviticus Cornwall. Oh. And it also says that he runs some kind of oil company up near Valentine. Hmm. Hmm. I think this could be our final score. Uh, the money we need to maybe, I guess, get out of the life. And I guess manage to last for I don't know how long with the money we get or, and have. Alright. I bet this could work. I just gotta keep looking for info. That's all it says. I have to find more. I should probably, should probably get some sleep. I'll probably stay up, just finding more things out. Uh, alright. <sighs> and I don't need to worry about me, I'm just gonna look at some things and see what I can find. Um, alright. And, uh, one more thing. Yeah. Um, about what happened down there with that guy, uh, trying to forget about that. Uh, alright. That was, uh, I don't know what happened down there. <sighs> yeah, just, let me go get some sleep. Alright. I'm most likely being here in the morning. Or, I don't know how long I'll be awake, but most likely for a while. Alright. Alright, well, get some sleep. Um, uh, see you in the morning. You too, Michael. Outside here would work. Well, I mean, I do enjoy like looking at the sky while I'm sleeping. Uh. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right here will do. Oh. Guess it's time to get comfy. And then the day awaits. And Chess, where are you at? I'm out here. What? Uh, first stuff, we need to go somewhere. Um, okay. I just wanted to check on the money because I, I didn't think about it. Since you stashed that money somewhere in my. Well, never mind. I know where you. I think I know. Yeah, you know where you. Are. But I just want to make sure if it's still there. I never really asked you if you chipped on it before you, uh. Kind of. You know, saved me. Yeah, I did, and it was still there. Well, just make, I just want to go there and make sure. If not, then I don't. Alright, come on. Alright. Oh. Alright, I thought it was about to interrupt you when you were about to probably sleep or were you already asleep by the time I came out to yeah, you know never mind, don't answer that stupid question. Um, alright. I uh, should have headed there when we got here, but we only had one horse. And, yeah, no, I remember. I could see this being like, well, what our ranch could become, even though I never really got a good look at the place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I have no clue how to run a ranch. Well, you can hang here with me. There's something I wanted to ask. It's been bugging me for a while. Uh, okay, what is it? Mm, your nightmares, or your dreams, or whatever you call them. Did you see a man shooting at someone all tied up? Well, I mean, he didn't shoot him, but he was. I know, I know. But to answer so, your question, uh, yeah. Well, guess it wasn't just me then. You had that too? Yeah, just once. It bugged me. But if I remember seeing it correctly, I think it was here. Inside, check up on the money. All right. <sighs> All right. And check is still there. All right. <sighs> okay, good. It's still here. Phew. 
Well, I guess once things die down, I guess, well actually, hold on, uh, once we go for that oil thing, I might come back for the money, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Alright. Yeah, hold on, I, I just gotta think things through. I found where it took place. Oh. Yeah. Took place right here. Yeah. This is where it all happened. Yeah. Yes, I don't know about you going to the oil thing. What do you mean? I don't... I don't know if you're ready. I don't... Doing. I, I don't want you to go. Cause if you go, you can end up getting killed. And I don't want to see another one of. I don't want to see another person that I've been close to die. Not again. Yeah, I know you handled yourself well back in Blackwater, but this is different. Way different. I don't want to put you in this kind of danger again. At least not this. Oh. Most likely gonna leave you here. I'll go there. Okay. I'll keep finding info, and then once I figure that all out, go there and get out. But I'm not putting you through this again. This is more dangerous than the Blackwater heist. If you really are understanding what I'm trying to say, I just don't want to lose someone that's close to me again. Even though you you're related to that that sh that lawman. He said that father tried. He wasn't quick enough. If my if your father really cared about mine, why didn't he try to help him to save his life? Father could be here right now with me.
Instead, I'm here with you. So how about you tell me that stuff? Feel like you want to go put your life on the line again just to help me rob an oil thing from some guy I barely know much about. But this time you're gonna be in the action. And who knows what's gonna happen. But I'm not bringing you if you're just gonna get killed or slow me down. you're saying I understand you don't want uh, someone like me that has been with you for I don't know how long now like I mean, like you said you don't want something to happen to me but at the same time I also don't want something to happen to you either It's not like something like this similarly kind of happened and I would say our father since yours is alive out somewhere. We were in he was in this exact same situation. Except he was the one that got shot. My father did. And he's alive out there somewhere. He left you and your family behind. And I'm here without no one. No one in my family is alive. Because my family is gone. I met you, learning the truth and everything, finding out who you are, and how we know each other, how we're, I guess, somehow related or connected. I learned that now that maybe we're just somehow brothers in arms or something. I don't know how I feel about how families work and how they manage to cope. Other than me tying someone to the bed or shitting them in the feet or the leg, making them talk and torture them. I mean, that's not the person I wanted to be, but everything that happened to me. It brought me to this. Brought me to the point where I can't be a, an innocent man. Instead of being an outlaw, do what I need to do. To get what I want, to feel maybe happy again, but maybe all this just doesn't make me feel any better. It just makes me feel worse. Money doesn't help with one bit of anything. It just makes me feel more guilty or feels makes you feel a certain way I don't know how to describe it but your father makes probably a lot of money when he was all when he was here before he met mine but 
Knowing him probably now, he probably has a lot more money. Because he has my father's money. Which should honestly be mine. But he took that. I just don't know how I feel either alone or still with you somehow in a way. Because I never felt this sort of way. I don't know what it's called. I'm compassionate or I don't know the word. Towards someone that I'd known for quite some time. Maybe consider them family, and if they weren't, or they are. <sighs> I just, I don't know. that I've done for the past five years and more I feel like none of that matters at all a bit to me or my father bury my entire family before all this <sighs> and if I we end up robbing this place. I didn't want to lose you, but you were willing to put your life on the line back in Blackwater. But I was confident you were there. But this, this is different. This guy runs the government. This guy could get us killed. Either hanged, put in a prison. We also, we could honestly die. That's why I figured you should just stay here. I'm back at that mansion. Back in San Denise. But if you really are willing to do this, then I'll do whatever it takes to make sure we both get out of there alive. Well, you know what, I, like I said, I'm still not changing my answer. <sighs> and, um, and look, we, I mean, who knows, maybe with that money we could I don't, we could start our own little thing, we could, who knows, maybe we could live off on that ranch we saw. Yeah, I know. Start our own little <sighs> life. Alright, well, I guess... I miss or probably go grab your hat by the fireplace. Uh you know, this place just makes me think of so many things. From how young I was and up to now. Meeting you and finding out so many things that I never realized. Finding out before you did. But I just went along with it. <sighs> yeah, so it would be nice to sleep here one last time, but. Uh, yeah. I think I prefer the mirror's house a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, 
I guess once we get back to the mayor's house, I guess I'll let you sleep. Alright. It's getting a little day to miss, so... I didn't realize how long we were there for. Yeah, oh! Yep. See you later, dead. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, we'll just cut through here. Alright. Yeah, I guess once we get back, I'll probably read through those books, see if I can find anything. Alright. Yeah, you know, just, well, get some sleep. Alright. Who knows what's gonna come for us when we do this? Yeah. Hmm. I guess I should ask. Do you, since you say you know how. Uh, Ranch or farm works. Mm -hmm. There's some. Th is there some things you can tell me that I should know? Uh. Well. Hmm. Oh. Obviously. Uh. Other than the crop stuff, I mean, you know, that's part of it. But. Um. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Um, but, yeah, um, pretty much, like, it's a lot about, um, you go in the barn, making sure everything's good, and then also, uh, make sure all the vegetables are good, and make sure you, um, keep an eye out on everything. But yeah, just, pretty much just manage the crops and stuff, and all that little basic stuff, but, I mean, there's more to it, all but right. all that stuff. That's just the basics. That's just the basics? Oh, not the basics, but yeah, just... I think I'm making you in charge when we actually get this ranch. Alright, you go get some sleep. I'll uh, see you in the morning. Alright. See you later, Michael. Alright. Back to the sleeping area. Or the sleeping spot, I mean. Uh, just like I never left. Alright. Time to rest. Again. <laughs> oh. Tomorrow will be a new day.